Reports can be assembled from pre-built components that act as building blocks to create a multifunctional, sophisticated report. Here we see a report that contains three components, a combination chart, a set of gauge charts, and a standard banded object. Each component can access its own data source or reuse data fetched by one of the other components. Let's take a look at how this multi-component report is built. First, we'll create a new blank report and specify the data source associated with the report. JReport provides a unique report object that makes it easy to build multi-component reports and it is called a tabular. We insert the tabular object onto our blank report. A tabular is similar to a table in a word processing document. Each cell has content that can be managed independently but is always kept in alignment. Our tabular will be two rows by two columns with the right column being merged to show one row. We insert labels in each cell that will be the titles for each component in our report. Each cell is indicated by grid lines that help us build our report layout but do not show on the report results. In the lower left cell we insert our gauge charts that show actual versus forecast sales by region. As shown in a previous demo, the chart wizard collects the data it needs. First it requires us to specify the data set used to populate the chart. Because we already specified the data source when we created the blank report, we can select the current data set here. If we didn't want to use that data set, we could select a different existing data set or we could create a new data set for the gauge charts. The chart wizard continues by allowing us to choose the chart type, specify the chart elements, a placeholder for the completed chart appears. In the next cell, we'll insert a report that was built in an earlier demo, a chart object report that shows 2007 and 2008 sales totals by category. When a report is inserted into another report, it becomes a sub-report. Subreports are managed internally as links to the original report, which makes it very efficient to make design modifications. Only one report exists. All subreports are just links to that report, so if the report developer needs to make a change to the report, he or she changes it in one place only. The other instances automatically inherit the updated design. In the third cell, we'll again insert a subreport, but this one is the banded report we built in a previous demo. This subreport shows actual versus forecast sales by category. And finally, we apply our style sheet, which sets the properties of many report objects at the same time, and then we can switch to the View tab to see the final result. Notice how the report objects, combined with the tabular sales, define our report layout very clearly.